Ksenia Mia Brugelovsky, April 7th, 5 o'clock in the evening. Another video comment that I wanted to post on my public, hopefully, uh, YouTube channel uh, about the fact why it is that I was targeted for kidnapping and human trafficking into Canada was because, well, I was a, a vulnerable subject. Um, I lived in a three-bedroom apartment in the center of uh, Tashkent, that's capital city of uh, Uzbekistan. And as you know, Uzbekistan is one of the stands uh, with the southern border, border with uh, Afghanistan. Uh, you can look up uh, geopolitical situation in uh, Uzbekistan. And someone must have um, uh, reasoned that I was um, a very prospective investment with the uh, Russian father obtaining citizenship in Russian Federation. Uh, my mother was targeted for uh, whatever happened to her. Okay, so that's abortion, um, that's um, a stolen child, a newborn, uh, then syphilis, then uh, uh, effective uh, take hostile takeover of the property. Okay, so uh, Unit 43 uh, in the nine-story building uh, number 49 on Oybek Street in Tashkent City, Uzbekistan is an illegal sale. And I declare it uh, because I am a, an owner of this dwelling. Okay, so again, unit number 43, house number 49 on Oybek Street in Tashkent City, Uzbekistan, it was an illegal sale. And whoever is um, renovating, uh, uh, leasing, renting, or owning such a property is an illegal squatter, okay? So this property was a crime place and is a crime place. Uh, my mother became syphilitic in the while being the owner of this house. And uh, as ethnic minorities in Uzbekistan, we were effectively taken over by whoever sought to obtain presence uh, on such grounds, okay? Uh, Someone must have reasoned that I was a prospective investment. I would be birthing children of uh, white um, descend uh, descendancy or predominantly white. Okay, I'm more than 80% white with some uh, uh, mixture of... Um, let's say 90, 92% according to whatever records were uh, put for me, but you can take a look at me, okay? I am predominantly white, um, 80 to 90% with a little bit of uh, um, oriental flair to it or southern Russian, uh, Tatar Mongol flair to it, you can say. Okay, and so yeah, I was a very much a, a vulnerable a kid growing up in um, a foreign country, which was uh, ethnically, uh, culturally, politically uh, very much foreign to me. I was kept there uh, because of uh, no choice. My mother at that time, uh, we lived alone before she met uh, Michael Magilevsky, okay, who effectively trafficked her and um, uh, myself into Canada in 2006. So whoever obtained presence in, uh, on the grounds of uh, our property um, did so illegally, okay? The sale was illegal and I declare it as a 50% owner of such property. Uh, my mother is syphilitic. She has syphilis in her central nervous system, in her brain, by uh, forced or coerced sexual intercourse, uh, by whoever coerced or forced her into the sexual intercourse. But at that time, she effectively relinquished her rights to be uh, my mother and uh, primary caretaker, okay? Uh, I don't know about the whereabouts of my biological father, but I know he obtained citizenship of Russian Federation in, uh, and upon dissolution of the Soviet Union in uh, 1990-1991. And um, he resided on the territory of Russian Federation for a number of years. I don't know about his current whereabouts. And so, by all means, um, trafficking me into Canada, hoping that I would produce um, uh, children with your local Canadian studs, by no means. You know what? After treatment that I got here, you can go fuck yourselves. I'm not interested in no freaking breeding, socializing, or being employed uh, 
uh, for the benefit of your already rich society that uh, decimated what I had there, uh, didn't give me shit here, okay, humiliated, persecuted, harassed me on Canadian soil, and I'm very much looking for involvement of Interpol, so you can stop uh, uh, showcasing your fancy York Regional Police and Ontario Provincial Police cars in front of me, it has nothing to do with uh, York Region, well, it has to do, because the crimes that were perpetrated against me in the past 17 years happened on the territory of York Region, Ontario, but they were uh, as a super, uh, sort of a repercussion of the original international crimes, so uh, crimes against humanity perpetrated against myself, my mother, my grandfather, my grandmother, and great grandmother and grandfather on the territories of the Russian Federation, the Republic of Uzbekistan, Israel, uh, Palestine, United States, and Canada. All right, so yeah, at this point. Folks, I was uh, kidnapped, I was trafficked, I was uh, targeted uh, for ethnic cleansing, I was targeted for persecutions and crime, property crimes, uh, as well as attempted manslaughter, because by arranging the circumstances and people in a way that you did, uh, by situating Anna Fall, who is the queen of the um, uh, Velour village land, and the two stooges from 104 Montcalm, who couldn't care less because they're living there under assumed identities, being paid something for not doing much, sitting there doing nothing, okay, reporting nothing. So yeah, I was very much conspired against to uh, be slaughtered, to be slaughtered from the very early age, uh, from the late 80s, beginning 90s. And by no means I am interested in uh, renovating any of your properties. I was forced I was forced out of my property, uh, my mother was killed, I was trafficked into here for sexual, domestic and uh, financial slash labor exploitation, and you know what, if I'm gonna start filing taxes now, that would be bullshit. Okay, what, are you going to employ investigators, Canadian tax investigators who, is go who are going to be investigated, investigating odd activities of residents and citizens? You know what, this is bullshit job, this is bullshit job. You are concocting all this um, irregularities uh, yourselves. You know full well that some folks um, like myself, I am probably going to be expensing $900 at the most a month for food. I could do, I could live uh, on less, but I don't want to be uh, cooking day in and day out everything from scratch. So it's a $900, okay? And then miraculously, I'm paying 8000 for what? For a seven, 8000 for your uh, shelters here. Yeah, it's an irregularity. And if I'm going to be filing any Canadian taxes, which I'm not going to be doing, because first of all, I am currently uh, forced to live in temporary housing, which is happening against my will and against my consent. And this um, temporary housing is abusive and extor extortion on an extortion basis, because, uh, I, well, I don't need it in the first place. Again, I was a legitimate child of a mother and a father, the only child, and I had a three-bedroom apartment with two balconies in the central um, region of uh, capital city in um, Tashkent, Uzbekistan, and if not, then, you know what, a Russian Federation, uh, one-bedroom uh, slash studio apartment would be uh, more than sufficient for me to sort of uh, live and uh, be able to support myself. Uh, my Russian is fluent. I am ethnically uh, Russian. So I don't understand why I was um, targeted really other than for uh, your foreign interest. And when I say foreign, I mean mostly US interest in obtaining presence in uh, uh, Republic of Uzbekistan and or uh, Russian Federation. So, you know what, York Regional Police and Ontario Provincial Police, I don't think you can do really much about my case uh, comprehensively, because again, this is 39 years of crimes in progress. Thank you very much, Ksenia Mea Brigilovsky out of Toronto Vaughan, yet another hotel here.